Top 5 things you must do to keep safe at the full moon party. Number 1. Do not take your passport to the full moon party. If you want to take some ID with you, always take a photocopy. We met a guy who lost his passport and all his money and he was stuck in Thailand. Not the situation you would like to be in. So this takes us to number two. Only take what you are willing to lose or spend. Only take what you need and leave the rest at the hotel. We saw many people trying to pickpocket others, with one person trying to get into my wife's handbag and got caught, and got caught red-handed. If you lose all your holiday money, you would be pretty gutted. Someone at our hotel did just that, lost his phone and £2,000 worth of Thai bar at the full moon party. He tried to call his phone, but nobody was at home. Number 3. Do not take your mobile with you. Yes, yeah, sure, you would like to take photographs. But if you do, you are risking losing your phone. If you really, really, really want to take pictures, have a cheap camera on you instead. You would rather lose a cheap camera than losing a £700 iPhone. While we, was at, we, while we was at the full moon party, some Thai people tried to sell us an iPhone for 1,000 baht. That's it, that's about £20 for an iPhone. It would have definitely been stolen or lost on the beach. Number four. This is very, very important. Before you enter the full moon party or even if you just arrived at the full moon party, you must do this before uh, you get too drunk. Establish a meeting point where you and your friends can meet up. If you get lost, there'll be times where you need to go to the toilet or even go buy a drink or get some food. There's, you need to remember there's nearly 30,000 people on that beach. So there, there will be a time where you may lose each other um, in, in your group. So I would highly recommend have a meeting point beforehand um, and say to yourself in, the, you know, in your group of people, if you are... If you can't find each other after 15 minutes, just walk to the meeting point. We did this, uh, and we had to do this twice, because um, we got lost. Um, but it's definitely, definitely worth doing. This takes us on to number five. And this is very, very important, guys. Only buy buckets where the bottle is sealed. Often some Thai people dilute or even make their own spirits to maximise their profits. Which you may be fine from the alcohol that they've made or they've slightly diluted, but more often than not, there ain't much alcohol in it at all. And it's something in it something else in it called methanol, which is definitely something you don't want to be drinking at all. We knew someone who um, who did this who was at the full moon party having these drinks um, and they felt very very ill it, later on um, we found out that they had, actually had to go to hospital um, in Thailand um, they had to pay up front as well for the hospital and they try and what they do is they try um, and, and con you to the hospitals um, and try and tell you you need this you need that or we need to try and do this other treatment on you um, just so they can get more money out of you uh, and more money out of the insurance company um, but avoid all of that buy from the bottle, the sealed the bottles that way you know the alcohol's going to be safe you know what's going into it um, it's you know save yourself the headache if you found this video useful please like the video and subscribe to our channel and comment below of your experiences at the full moon party or even if you've seen any pickpockets going on any strange weird stuff at the full moon party um, we'd like to hear your experiences and um, so comment in the section below and we can have a discussion about it